Hello, everybody, and welcome to week five of Social Media Week for the final week of September. Uh, we're so fortunate that this September, God gave us five Tuesdays because we've already talked uh, about uh, the importance of, of using social media for your business. We've talked about creating a content calendar and scheduling that content. We've talked about measuring uh, the results of your activity and making sure that you have a return on investment. And today we're going to talk about social media advertising, uh, specifically with, uh, with placing pay-per-click ads on social media channels such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and many, many others uh, that you may be familiar with. So we have a special guest today. We've invited Shea to join us. Shea is our in-house PPC specialist, so pay-per-click specialist. Shea, why don't you uh, introduce yourself? Hi everyone, um, my name is Shea and I'm an account manager and PPC specialist here at WebROI and um, PPC, like Jason said, means pay-per-click and it just means I take care of all the paid advertising for our clients. Thank you, Shea, and welcome. Um, share with us, if you will, <clears throat> just kind of strip it right back to the basics because many in our audience may not be that familiar with it. What is social media advertising? Um, okay, so going back to the basics, like you said, social media advertising um, basically is creating and deploying advertising on social media platforms. So advertising on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, all that will be referred to as social media advertising. And is it the same say, as pay-per-click and other channels like Google AdWords? <laughs> That's a very interesting question, Jason. Um, so pay-per-click um, is usually used with um, synonymously with paid search. And it confuses a lot of people when they then hear pay-per-click associated with other platforms. Now, pay-per-click is just an advertising model that allows users to pay only when, um, sorry, that allows advertisers to pay only when users click on their ads. So say your ad shows up 10 times and it gets clicked twice, you only get charged twice. So yes, pay-per-click is obtainable on social media advertising, but it's not an ad in itself. It's a model of advertising. Are there other, uh, within the same um, realm of advertising, are there different models where you're not paying per click, but maybe pay paying for impressions and brand awareness? Oh yes, definitely. So um, depending on your objective, you can decide to pay for impressions and the way that would work, usually a click, you pay for one click, but for impressions, you pay per thousand impressions. Um, also platforms allow you to pay per lead. So um, you can actually optimize the pay um, depending on the number of leads that you get. So you get only one leads and 20 clicks, but you pay only for one lead. But as you can imagine, the amount for a lead would definitely be a lot more than what you would pay for a click or for a thousand impressions. So Shea, I'm sure a lot of our audience are sitting out there saying, um, you know, they've heard about social ads, they've probably seen social ads, maybe they've even clicked on social ads, but they don't necessarily see how social ads can benefit their business. So maybe you can enlighten us, how can it benefit the average business that might be listening to this, uh, this podcast? Right, okay. Um, as with every other mode of advertising, the key to success is usually ensuring, first of all, that you know what your business goals and objectives are. So the reason why you're advertising, the second thing is to understand who you're speaking to. So who is your target audience? And the third thing is, what am I selling to them? What am I saying to them? Once you get these three things down, then social media has so many um, opportunities for you to be able to reach your customers. Um, as a lot of us are aware, social media is like the biggest thing now. People are on Facebook, people are on Instagram, on Twitter, TikTok, you know, Snapchat, different ages, the youth, the older people, they are on this platform. So it's a great way to reach your target audience. Now, social media has, you know, evolved so much that you can actually reach your target audience, get their details and engage with them right on the same platform. Now, Facebook has millions of users and I can assure you that your consumers are on Facebook. Now, what we need to get right is how to reach this, these consumers where they are and how to speak to them. Once we get all these things right, then it's smooth sailing all the way. Now, obviously one of the big considerations and big concerns is no one wants to blow money. No one wants to just throw money at something and hope it works. They want to have some kind of uh, strategic way of, of measuring it and knowing that it's going to work. Um, so how would you say uh, business owners can go about determining their budget? 
Right. Okay. So um, as with everything, um, once you've determined your goals from the start and you've determined, okay, these are your goals are what will determine what your measurement should be. So for example, if I'm running a lead generation campaign, I can say, I need to put this amount of money because I want to get these number of leads. Now for you as a business, you can always determine what is a lead worth to my business. And you can always work your way backwards from there to say, if a lead is worth this, then I should be willing to spend this amount of money to be able to get this number of leads. Now, it's not an exact science and obviously things vary. But if you look at it in this way, um, if I spend this amount of money over this amount of time and I can get leads that will give me back this money and double, then what exactly am I waiting for? So in terms of budget, it really depends on how much you have and what your, your like I said, your objectives are. Now, there usually is a minimum budget. Once you start to create a campaign on Facebook, you can't start with $1. Your, your campaign is not going to be approved. But then you can, with these platforms, you can always scale upwards. And like we said, usually what we tell our clients is, is what is your starting budget? Have you done advertising in the past? If your answer is no, then we usually say, okay, that's fine. Can we start with something as little as 300 to $500 a month and see how that works? Now, a lot of the time um, clients want to say, um, I only want to run a campaign for a month or I only want to run a campaign for a couple of weeks. But what we usually recommend and with all these platforms, with algorithms and everything, they're getting smarter. And what they do is once people start to click on your ads and take your desired action, then they can start to optimize to show your ads to people who are more likely to take the action that you desire. Now, if you run your campaign for only two weeks and Facebook has just finished learning at the end of two weeks, then you've wasted all that money for two weeks and maybe you got only one lead. Whereas if you'd run it for another four weeks, Facebook has learned, knows the kind of people to show your ads to, and you could be getting maybe triple the amount of leads that you got in the first two weeks in the next two weeks. So what we usually say is don't be in advertising for the short run, do it for the long run. And that way you can measure your return on investment better. You can tweak it to make sure um, this is working. And as you measure every month, there are recommendations to say, based on our results for this month, let's do this in the next month so that we can you know, improve our results. So it's not, um, press play and go know it's a continuous massaging and optimization to ensure that we get to where we need to go to. So the, the question of budget really is dependent on your objectives and what you're willing to you know, achieve at that point in time. How would you, um, if you were working with a new business that wanted to try social media, um, but wants to sort of prove that this is the right channel for them, how long would you recommend as a minimum that a business should uh, should invest in and kind of let it work in order to prove whether or not it's uh, it's sustainable? Usually, I would say at least two months. The first month will be a month of learning, tweaking, and you know making sure everything is right. Because a lot of the time, I mean, you you might decide, oh, this is my target audience, and after like two weeks of running the campaign, we start to see that actually these people are resonating more with your services and giving you more you know, revenue based on that. So we usually say two months at least. So use the first month to learn, tweak the campaign and really confirm that you're reaching and um, speaking to the right people. And then month two can then be the month to say, okay, this is concrete, this is solid, we're getting results and we can go with it. So two months. Yes. Two. Okay. Um, I was going to guess more, more like three. The reason I would say three is because the first month you're, you're establishing your campaign. The second month you're tweaking and improving things. And I think, I would think the third month is where you start to really see things take hold, uh, but I could be wrong. What do you, what do you say about that? I mean, to be honest, it depends. Like I, like I said, the longer, the better. If you're in it for the long run, you get better results. But we find a lot of clients are like, um, I just want to try it out. And for some of them, three months might be too long for them to try out. So in that case, if we're trying it out for them for two months, we would set up the campaign in a way that lets Facebook know that this campaign is ending two months and all the optimization that we're doing needs to be kind of hurried up in that sense to be able mm -hmm. to see the results that we need to get in that time. I mean, it's not ideal, 
But if you really don't want to go beyond two months, if you just want to say, let me just see how it works, then we can start with two months and then take things from there. Okay. And uh, final question. Um, We've all seen advertising, um, but I think a lot of us don't really acknowledge maybe where we've seen that advertising. You know, I know I've seen ads in Facebook, I've seen ads everywhere, but um, I'm wondering if you can share like, where do these ads, if somebody's paying for ads in social media, where do they actually, where are the, the, the customers that they're targeting actually gonna see them? Right, okay, so um, it differs for different platforms. Um, starting with Facebook again. Um, for Facebook, you can, the ads will show up in your news feed. They can show up in your stories. They can show up on Facebook Messenger. They can show up on the right-hand side of your page, of your homepage when you're logged into Facebook. They can also show up on Instagram, Instagram stories and Instagram news feed as well. And but also- as, the- Sorry, sorry, as an advertiser though, or as a, a, a campaign manager, you can select, like they don't just show in all those places. Oh, you yeah, no, they don't like- just show in all those places. <laughs> no, it's, it's, not, it's not automatic. You can actually decide where you want your ads to show up. So it, it's not, yes, you can, you can decide. So if you, don't, if you don't have an Instagram page, for example, you, your ads can still show on Instagram, but if you don't believe there's any value, then you wouldn't show your ads on Instagram. And also um, some people have limitations based on the kind of um, ads that they can create. And that might be an issue for different um, placements as well. So that also helps you. If you can only create a certain size of ads, then you'll be able to find a placement that works for you as well. And so that's for Facebook, yeah. Very good. Well, thank you very much for sharing your expertise and insight uh, with us today, Shea. And thank you, Caleb, for organizing this month of uh, social media uh, video tips. And to my audience, thank you. I I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope you've taken some value from it. Uh, Feel free to reach out to us at info at webroi.ca if you'd like more information about how perhaps we could help you with your social media strategy and campaigns. Uh, And please, if you like this content, uh, join our, follow our uh, our YouTube channel, um, follow us on on Facebook, share content with people that you know and friends that uh, you think might find this interesting. 